So the summer of 2021, my buddy Eric and I went out to Wisconsin to film a documentary for a nonprofit uh, of Indian Motorcycle Week. And during it, we were like, you know what? We might as we should try and make a behind the scenes video, like a video of us experiencing it. Here is our version of Indian Motorcycle Week. pretty good so far. We uh, got to the bikers at around nine and then came out here on a fucking random corner, hang out until bikes come and we waited probably an hour and a half to get one minute of video. <laughs> So even though we were there for work, it kind of felt like we were part of this like experience. And it was crazy the amount of different places these people were from, all coming together for like this very niche event in Wisconsin. I'm from Chicago. I currently live in uh, Wapata, North Dakota. I am from Florida. I've come up from Kansas City, Missouri. I'm from Seattle, Washington. All these different people from all these different backgrounds, and it was cool to see this community grow around a bike with a motor. If you like being part of a community and you like meeting new people, this is the place to come. Some of the most friendliest people that I've ever encountered uh, have been, been here this week. It seems like right now the rest of the world doesn't even exist, and I'm loving this. You can hear the passion in their voice, like they get excited, but I think our buddy Clyde said it best. Everyone's different but everyone loves Indian motorcycles. So being an outsider, I'm not a motorcycle connoisseur, but you know, when you see an Indian motorcycle, it is a beautiful work of art, really. You see these bikes and you can tell it's like artisan, it's a craft. And like the history behind Indian motorcycles, it goes back to, I think 1901. I think in 1911, it set the land speed record. We were told over and over again that it was the first true American bike. All these people knew this history about him because they were that passionate about it. And it made me really want to feel that. Uh, and find, my, find a way on one of these bad boys. What, what's your name? Pistol. Pistol, okay. Pistol. Could I try riding it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I finally got an Indian motorcycle. Okay, here we are, we're in Stockholm. There's like Swedish flags everywhere and we got some warmed up hot, I mean look, look at that. We got a couple good shots so far, but we lost the bikers. So, we're getting high. First bite, everybody knows the rules. That's really good. Dude, that's really good. We should just buy a pie to go. <laughs> this is, a, if I had a pie chart, this would be 95% very good pie and 5%, I don't know what I'm saying. Nine out of 10, nine and a half out of 10. Um, do they do, so one cool thing about Wisconsin, they've got this beer called Spotted Cow. Like oh, okay. Can only get in Wisconsin. Oh, okay, I've had one. Yeah. I had one, I had one over Dude, here with They're not bad, yeah. right? Delicious. Yeah, I mean, delish, yeah, delish. Been we'll spend like two hours, get one shot, and then wrap. All right, where are the motorcycles going next? It's been good, it's been fun. Uh-huh, <laughs> good. Dude, I mean, I remember you from Spy Kids, right? Yeah. Growing up yeah. and seeing that, and like, oh shit, I can't talk, I can't cuss. 
no, 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 no. I cut, no, I cussle, no, and, no, I, and no, I don't need to, but that's just my words. No, bro, you're doing good. I'm normally not a producer. I'm usually behind the camera filming, uh, and when I am producing, I'm not usually interviewing celebrities. <laughs> and so when I found out I was interviewing the Sons of Anarchy people and Danny Trejo, I got a little nervous, and it can kind of show through the video. I asked them maybe one or two questions, and you can just tell that they cared. They wanted to be out here. They wanted to be with these people. I mean, you could hardly tell that they were celebrities. They fit in really well. They were riding bikes around with everyone and having a good ass time. <laughs> I've been here four times now and I'll come every time they want. For me, it's a vacation and I ain't seen an attitude in this spot. Even the dogs are friendly. <laughs> they got a wolf, they got a wolf there. That was like a friendly wolf. You know? That was a beautiful ride yesterday. I mean, really gorgeous ride. Took a ride today, absolutely gorgeous. We're here for a great cause. And I, I like Wisconsin. If I go somewhere and I don't like my experience, I won't come back. This is one of the things that I look forward to coming to every year. That's why whenever Art invites me, I'm here, man. I hope to be here next year, yeah, the year after that. Cause it's like, like I said, it's like, it's just a, it's just a fun way to spend a day, you know, and a weekend. Thank you. God bless you. As I, as I can. See, more motorcycles. <laughs> we are here at Indian Motorcycle Week, day Thursday. Uh, we're gonna, I don't know, try and get some B-roll today. Um, meet some more people. So as we were out there interviewing people, trying to get to know them a little bit more, they kept bringing up again and again this thing called wind therapy. Wind therapy is what it's all about, the, the solitude of riding. Letting the world's problems disappear and enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the sunset. It's just like this heartbeat that you can't explain. Everything's elevated. You're seeing everything, you're smelling things, and just you know taking it all in. It's a very freeing sensation. It's therapy to let your mind just wander. Yeah. <laughs> it's a therapy, man. It really is. You know, they say, you know, it's cliche. Oh, my, this is my therapy. Forget about it. It's like, it's cliche, but it's not. It's true, man. It really is. That's where the cliche comes from, because it's so true. You dig? So knowing about wind therapy, we needed to show that on the camera, but we didn't have a bike ourselves. So we needed to find someone with a sidecar. Yeah, whenever you want to go riding, I'd love to, I've never ridden in a sidecar. How brave are you, laddie? I'm pretty brave. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's pretty good. Here we are, Doobie's cooking the burgers in the back. Got some uh, new Glarus beers, the unofficial sponsor of the behind the scenes video. Have you had a new Glarus beer yet? Yeah, they're pretty fucking good. <laughs> Not bad. All right, I gotta get like a thin little... Yeah, okay. Take a big old bite now, man. Tell me how it is. Juicy. Mm, that's crispy. Yeah, oh yeah, God damn right. And you wash it down with a nuclear spear. Final day. We are here at the Guinness World Record event to see if we can get the most Indian motorcycles in one place at one time. It'd be cool if we got the world record. Um, is that going to happen? I don't know. And if it doesn't, you know, it's, it's all about the friends we made along the way. And we made some pretty cool friends. Uh, people that I would not usually get along with. But I feel like I've been at like summer camp. So it's gonna be kind of sad to leave, but you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a good week. So today, this 
is the Guinness World Records attempt for the largest parade of Indian motorcycles. How are you feeling about today? Hey, it's fantastic. Look at all these people from all over the country here. A lot of neat people. Fantastic bikes. So do you think we're going to break the record today? I'm hoping we do, because if we do, I'm going to Little Rock and I'm going to rub it in. We're going to break the record again. You notice we're going to break the record again. What happens if we don't? We do it again next year. We already won. Are you kidding? Look at this thing. <laughs> Let's do it. How you feeling? I'm fantastic. Let's see if we can go break some records, baby. Just about six o'clock, August 9th, August 21st. What the fuck? My brain is fried. We've been here too long and we're fucking heading out. We got everything packed up in the truck. We got two 24 packs of Spotted Cow in the car, some leftover Chinese food from the night before, and, uh, and a full tank of gas. The trip has been great. I kind of feel bad not um, saying goodbye to everyone, but I don't know, at this point, I'm weighing, I, like weighing out the options, like, man, we gotta get out of here. It's been long, I'm tired. A week of filming is fucking long. And I'm ready to go home and sleep in my own bed. Um, and Eric has to edit all this footage now. There's gonna be a lot of stuff, but we're, we're done. We're done filming. This is it, and now we get to go home.